Hi everyone, welcome to Val Fashion's YouTube channel. My name is Eunice. In this video, I'm going to be showing us how I made this beautiful scalloped bell sleeve. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe and make sure to put on your notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And please, subscription is free. So it's just your way of supporting my channel and saying I'm doing a good job. So please kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe. And do not forget to put on your notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a so new video. Thing I'm going Thank to do you. Now, I'll be making use of this Ankara bias. fabric for so this sleeve. And the first thing I'm going to do now is to fold my fabric on bias. Just watch carefully how I'm folding the fabric. Can you see? I'm not folding it straight. I'm folding in a way that is giving me a triangular shape. So this inches. part is the base of the sleeve that, and I want the base to be 18 so inches exactly on fold. So when it is open, inches. that's 36 inches. So 18 inches is just fine. So from the base of the sleeve, that's from the down part, I'm going to measure the length of the sleeve. And the length I'm working with here is 24 inches. That's plus my hemming allowance and all. I don't need so much hemming allowance. Remember that the down part is scalloped, so half inch is just fine. Okay, so now I've unfolded my fabric and I've measured the length of the sleeve, which is which is 24 inches. I'm going to draw a straight line at the starting point of the sleeve. So from this starting point, I'll come down by the cap's height. The cap's height here is 4 inches. So from the straight line I have there, I'll come down by 4 inches, which is the cap's height. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side to have a straight line. So I'm going to connect the points with a straight line like this. So I haven't done that. On this cap's height line, I'm going to enter the round armhole. So the round armhole is 8.5 inches. And you can see I've marked it on the cap's height line. So I'm going to connect with a slanted line to the upper line. That's to the starting line I have here. And then I'll go ahead and get the midpoint of this line. So now that I have the midpoint, I'll get the midpoint of the upper part by folding my tape into two like this. And then I'll also get the midpoint of the down part also as well. So now at the upper part, I will go up by half of an inch and connect the starting point to the half of an inch and then to the midpoint there. Just watch the way I'm placing my curve. You see, I'm just curving to connect and then I'll also connect the midpoint to the other second midpoint and then to the end here. So this is me just forming like an arc, okay? But I went in by half of an inch to create this arc. It's just a normal way of drafting our basic sleeve so if you don't really understand this i'll be dropping the link on how to create a basic sleeve so that you can make it clearer so next i went ahead to enter the sewing allowance at the side and then this is me connecting it to the 18 inches i have at the down part of the sleeve so it's that simple so you can see the upper part of the sleeve is narrower than the down part the down part is as wide as 18 inches so I'm going ahead to cut out the sleeve. So this is what the bell sleeve looks like. Let me open it up for us to see. So you can see how the down part of the sleeve just flares out. So it's wider at the down part as compared to the upper part. So now we're going to create the scalloped shape we'll have at the base of the sleeve. So from the folded part of the sleeve, I'm going to mark 2.5 inches. I'll keep marking 2.5 inches till I get to the other end of the sleeve. So I'll mark 2.5 inches and then another 2.5 inches. The last one is not up to 2.5 inches, it's about 2 inches and that's fine. Okay, so at the first 2.5 inches I marked, I'll go up by 2.5 inches and place my armhole curve this way and connect it like this, making sure that it's touching the base of the sleeve. 
Can you see that? So then I'll turn my armhole curve the other way and connect it to the base. That's to the other 2.5 inches. So I haven't done that now. On the third 2.5 inches, I will go up by same 2.5 inches like I did for the first one. Take note that at the second, I skipped it. I didn't go up, okay? So now I'll turn my curve this way to connect it to meet the other curve I have like this. So now to connect to the second one, I, next one, I do not need to go up by 2.5 inches. I'm just going to connect it to meet the 2.5 inches I've marked up already. You see? So now this one, I will have to go up by 2.5 inches. And then I'll curve it to meet the other curve that's to join at the base here. So next, I'm just going to curve now. I don't need to go up by 2.5 inches. So I went up by 2.5 inches at the third one. That's at the odd numbers, not at the even numbers. I hope we understand. So now I'll go ahead and cut out the scalloped shape here. I'm just going to follow the shape and cut it out nicely. So you can now see what we have. Can you see that the scallop shape came out really, really beautiful. It's giving what it should give. So you can see how it's so deep. Everything just came out well. So you can make this more than 2.5 inches. You can make it less than that. But 2.5 inches is what I want to have. And you can see that it's bold and beautiful. So I'm going to place this on the Ankara fabric and cut the second sleeve. So for this sleeve, I won't be cutting a lining because I'm going to be doing embroidery at the scalloped shape, at the scalloped part of the sleeve. So if you want to, if you want to sew with the lining, all you need to do is to cut exactly what you have as your lining and then you're going to follow the scallop shape and sew it in a curvy manner and then notch it very well and turn it out to the right side. And of course, give it a very nice press so that everything relaxes very well. But for me, as you can see, I did embroidery at the down part. You can see the yellow, the yellow embroidery thread. It came out really beautiful. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you put on your notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.